All right, so it is mid-July and we are out here at our 400 bushel. We got a lot going on. Aaron, what all has been happening this summer down here at 400 bushel? Yeah, so, so far we've done two foliar applications on this corn. Uh, one of those was around that V4, V5 time frame. The other one was around that V10-ish time frame right around in there. Uh, hit them with some NPNK in fairly low amounts with the NPNK. And then uh, zinc, manganese, and boron. Uh, get your micronutrients in there. Uh, some sugar, and then lastly, a little bit of Nano Pro to try and hopefully get that into the plant just a little bit better. What about fungicide applications? I'm sure you've probably made at least one application. Yep, we've made one down here. We did 10 ounces of Veltima, again, right around that V10, V11 time frame. And then we're actually gonna have another one here pretty soon once we hit brown silk, which will be, I would say next week we'll be out here hitting it with another 10 ounces of Veltima as well. And then a little bit of a different concoction with our foliar feed program at the same time. Aaron, where do we sit on nitrogen? I, I know you've made a handful of different nitrogen applications down here. What are we looking like there and how much have we put on so far? Yeah, so we put on 90 units with the planter, mm -hmm. plus some chicken litter out there already. So yep. we're getting some in from that, hopefully. And then we've applied uh, probably another 200-ish pounds so far. Uh, we have one more application that we're gonna be doing here uh, probably the next week or two again. But uh, with those two applications we did already, uh, it was nitrogen, sulfur, that five to one ratio, uh, some humic acid. And so that was kind of our concoction for getting that nitrogen out here. We did split the plot this year, so we've got our linear irrigator over there that we did half of the plot with the linear irrigation and try to water that nutrients down from the top. The other half of the plot, we're using our Netafem drip line and trying to fertigate that crop from the bottom up, essentially. So overall, looking at this crop from the outside, it looks really good. What about looking at it from the inside? What, what, what's your overall thoughts of, of our corn crop done here? It's looking really good. Um, I did go in there, uh, didn't see much disease, so that's good. The only problem is, is we do have a little bit of varmint damage, I guess you could say. I've seen you guys had the electric fence up. Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, unfortunately, we deal with some raccoons down here. They like to get in there, and we were about a day late on getting the electric fence set up. But other than that, the crop's looking pretty darn good in here. And then lastly, I noticed Colin Blackford's down there rolling around in the mud. Yeah. Uh, what's going on down there? Uh, we actually nicked one of the drip lines with the signpost. Mm. It actually mm. happens about every year. We only hit one, so. Hey, that's pretty good. We'll take that as a win. The problem is, is we're actively irrigating right now with the drip line. And uh, so yeah, it's kind of muddy trying to get that cleaned up. Well, Aaron, it looks like this corn crop is really off to the races and we can see that finish line coming here this fall. Stay tuned to find out more as we go on through this growing season.